Hey, Samuel, this is Johnny Stewart. How are you? Good. How can I help? Good. I was calling about that property on Shawnee. We spoke a couple of days ago. He said to give you a call back. So here I am. Okay. Are, are um, you looking? Are you look, you're you're still looking to sell that property, correct? Uh, yeah, I am. We're we're about to put it on the market here in about a week. Okay, you're about to put it on the market. Any chance you'll sell it before you put it on the market, or, or what? Yeah. How much How much do you guys want for it? One three five. One three five. All right. What can you tell me about it? I mean, it's brand new. I mean, it's a completely remodeled house uh 40 just under 4300 square feet the uh, incredible uh, lake house I and mean, it'll be the nicest lake house on the lake awesome um, awesome but, i mean it's beautifully done did you guys uh, do it or did you buy it that way no we're we're investors oh uh, okay awesome okay well look i'm an investor too so let's let's not even waste each other's time man um yeah, get get a retail buyer in there, and I wish you the best of luck. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. This is Rich. Hey, Rich. This is Johnny Stewart. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I was the one who called a few days ago to talk to you about doing seller finance, possibly. You said to give you a call back on Wednesday, so here I am. Things about doing that that sound attractive, but you're a real estate investor, right? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm thinking this property may not be very good for what you're wanting to do. Yeah, so I, like like I told you last time, I would actually move into that property to live. Uh, that's that's what I was looking at it as. Uh, I'm young; I don't have my own property to myself. And I want some land. So this would kind of create a win-win situation for both of us if we were able to work something out. Um, well, I mean, you know, it's kind of out in the country. You said what? It's kind of out in the country. How close is it to the nearest nearest Walmart? <laughs> uh, probably... Fifteen miles, probably closer to ten. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not, I mean, but, you know, it's, it's okay. Madison, Middle Tennessee. It's not, yeah. not a big town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. So the thing would be if we we're able to, you know, come to a place where numbers work for both of us. I would go out there and take a look at it, and then I would make the final decision based off that. You know. But I mean, like I said, I don't I don't have a, a home to myself yet and I, I wanna live out in the country. So, you know, I kinda of threw that option out there just to see if that would work for you and if I could make it work for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, that probably changes the game a little bit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> as an investment, it probably wouldn't work. Yeah, I don't think you can... Uh, when we... You know, it started out as five acres, and we bought three more from a neighbor. Oh, wow. And before the whatever zoning commission or whoever had to approve the sale, yeah. they, uh, they said we couldn't subdivide it. And so I figured, well, it's probably not going to do what you want to do. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I wasn't I wasn't looking to subdivide it out. I, I was going to be living on it myself. I know you said you had a living quarters. So my whole plan was I would live in that living quarters and until I'm at the point where I can build and then I'll build a house on it. Are you living in Nashville? I live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay. I grew up in Oak Ridge, uh, though, right outside of Knoxville. So Madisonville isn't too, too far from my family. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And just just to kind of give you a quick rundown before before you do your research, because I definitely think you should do your research and gain your own understanding. But this would all go through a title company, and you would basically place a lien on the property, just like any bank could do when they finance. So you would essentially be the bank. You would have a lien against that property. And for every reason, if I don't perform, if aliens come abduct me and I can't make a payment, then the property will go back to you. Um, we can even put paperwork in place to where you don't have to go through a full foreclosure process to take back the property. As soon as you show that I'm, I'm not performing, again, if, if aliens come and abduct me, then the property will go back to you. But I highly suggest you do your own research and, and make the decision that, that's best for you. Yeah, and I know little enough about it. I'd probably have to get some real estate lawyer involved or something. Yeah, yeah. And I even have some lawyers as well, so I can bring those to the table if that makes you feel comfortable or you can find your own again. However, as long as we can make the numbers make sense for both of us, I'm willing to do whatever you need to, to make you feel safe and secure. Okay. Um, well, you know how this works better than I have. Um, why don't you tell me what some possible numbers are that will work for you? Okay, how, how much did you want as an asking price? Well, it's listed at 230 right now. Okay. Now, last time we spoke, I even told you that I'm willing to pay over it if, if we can make some terms work for me, right? So I know I know the tax situation is coming up. Um, I don't want to put any money out, and I'm sure you don't want a bunch of money coming in. So ideally, I would like to get into a seller finance situation with $0 down if I was able to increase that purchase price, right? So if I increase the purchase price by 20 grand, that suffices the 20 grand that I would put down, correct? So I'd essentially be getting into the deal with no money down. And then depending on how that living quarters looks, I can just start making monthly payments from there, right? Now, like I told you early on, you're the bank, man. So I can't walk into Chase Bank and be like, hey, I want zero dollars down, I want this payment every month, and I want this. That's just not how it works. This is your property, you're the bank. So you tell me how it works. I would I would be ecstatic if I could get in with no money down and just start making monthly payments. But again, that's completely up to you. Now we can structure it out, you know. I know you said that that you know you guys you don't want a note for 30 years. I remember you saying that on the first call. So, we, so yeah. you know, I was explaining that amortization where we would have it for 30 years. I would make payments on it like I'm paying a 30 year note. And then at year 15, the total note is due. And that's called a balloon payment. So I think the best way to go about it is to amortize over 30 years, pay you like it's a 30 year note. And then at the year 15 mark, I can pay it off. Or, you know, year 10 could go by and you could call me up and be like, Johnny, this is working out great. Um, I would like it to stay at a 30 year note and you can just start paying my kids monthly when I the, when my time comes, you know? So it's all about how you want to structure it and what kind of numbers you want to see. Um, like I said, you're the bank, man. So so at, at the end of the day, you you should tell me what you want and then we can kind of go from there. But that was, that's kind of where my head is at. Okay, what would be, I don't know what normal interest rates are for this kind of thing. Different things I read said 
higher than a normal three-year mortgage when you uh, yeah. doing a booming payment and that kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you, man. If you if you give me a 10% interest rate, then this deal probably won't work for me, right? Um, I'm an investor. Uh, this is a place that I want to live in. And it just wouldn't make sense for me to pay well over when I know how to get properties for well under, correct? So, um, it just, it just wouldn't it wouldn't make sense for me if it was anything even over five percent. It probably wouldn't wouldn't make sense because I know how to get into properties for two three percent down. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that that's where I would be at, especially on since this property is kind of out the way and it'd be where I'm living, uh, that would, that would be kind of what I'm thinking. And then, and like I've done this before, I actually wholesaled a deal like this. Uh, we got it for 0%. So it really just depends. Again, you're the bank, man. You got to tell me what you want. Why don't you, I'll give you my email address and why don't you send me what the numbers might look at, look like for doing 5%. Okay. For the 30 years with a balloon payment at 15. Would, like would the purchase price be the 250 or 230? Both ways. Okay. And are both of them with no down payment? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. What was your email? All right. Perfect. Uh, I will get that email over to you within the next hour. I got a few more phone calls to make, but I will make sure that you get that. Okay. All right. Rich, I really appreciate it, man. All right. All right. I'll talk, I'll talk to, you to you soon. Bye bye. Yo. Hey, Skylar, my bad. I was on the other line. All oh, good, man. I wanted to see, Are you? so are you for sure going out there tomorrow to get pictures? Yeah, but I wanted to okay. run it out to you first and just see if it, we're even in the ballpark. Because if we're not, then right. I don't want to waste my time going out there. Okay, yeah. Let me, uh, we're, we're confident now. Uh, I just wanted to see if you had like a time set to go out there and not get pictures. Because either way, we need them. Uh, but yeah. let me see if we're even you know, in the scope of, of things. Or yeah, no, absolutely. What we'd like cap rehab at if, you know, it may work. Um, it just seems small for that price, unless the thing is... So it's know, it's sitting on like 1.4. 1. 1. 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, but, but the house itself is... It is small. Yeah, so it's small. If, if there is enough road frontage where you can like separate that and actually build next to it, the only, like, then that's cool. But the only issue is I believe it's on septic, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you have to get a whole new, all that sort of stuff. And, and the uh, and the big problem that I saw when I was looking at it is there's like an industrial plant on the other side of the street in front of it. So it? the front, the fr like what you're looking at from the house is just hideous. Yeah, let's see. That's why I just, street, yeah. yeah, that's why I just wanted to, throw it out and see like is this even worth my time uh, i see what you're saying yeah it's it's like a construction company with all their forms and everything yeah out back. yeah um okay that's interesting so it's something to take into account um i mean you quite literally got like a farm next to it you got a bunch of stuff going on over here yes yeah. it's yeah. not like country but not i mean and, and the lot next to you is it looks like it <clears throat> That, that is your lot the guy that owns it does he like farm that land or does he lease it out to the guy across the street like what I, I don't even know okay I mean because it's it's tilled and everything yeah we just had uh, one brief conversation and mm -hmm. uh he's I asked him for some pictures he said he'll be up there tomorrow I said I oh, maybe so he doesn't live there either no nah, no nope, nope. I mean, it looks like an investor that owns it. It's under an LLC, under the tax card. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what we think um, here in a little bit. I just wanted to see, if, you know, 
pictures or anything or something you got already or if you had yeah. to go out there so sounds good even I if will, even if i don't go out there he bit, yeah even if i don't go out there tomorrow he's still gonna send in pictures so um you know either way we'll have some pictures all righty sounds good man i'll uh i'll keep you posted on what i what i hear back all right i appreciate it man thanks Johnny. all right Later. bye, -bye.